ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಸದಾಶಿವ ಸಮಾರಂಭಾ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮಾ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾಂತಿಸ್ಮೃತಿಪುರಾಣ ಆಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ಉಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವಂಬಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತೋ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇಧಿಮೂರ್ತಿ ಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿನ ವ್ಯೋಮವ್ಯಾಪ್ತೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಉಗಾರಸ್ವಂಧಕಾರೋ ವೈರುಕಾರಸ್ತನ್ನಿವರ್ತಕ ಅಂಧಕಾರ ನಿರ್ವಿತ್ವಾತ್ಯಪಿದೀಯತೆ ಓಂ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೌ ಗುಣಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂಕರವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವಧೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾ ವಿದ್ವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಓಂ ಭದ್ರಂಗರ್ಣೇ ಬಿಶ್ರಣಿಯಾಮ ದೇವಾ ಭದ್ರಂ ಪಶ್ಯೇ ಮಾಕ್ಷವಿರ್ಯಜತ್ರ ಸ್ಥಿರೈರಂಗೈ ಸ್ತುಷ್ಟು ವಾಗುಂಸಸ್ತನೂಭಿ ಕ್ಷೇಮ ದೇವಹಿ ತಂಜದಾಯು ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನಯಿಂದ್ರೋ ವೃದ್ಧಶ್ರವಾ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನ ಪೂಷಾ ವಿಶ್ವೇದ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನಸ್ತಾರ್ಕ್ಷ್ಯೋ ಹರಿಷ್ಠನೇಮಿ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನೋ ಬೃಹಸ್ಪತಿರ್ದಾತು ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯ ಕರ್ತೃಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀ ಗೌಡಪಾದ ಶ್ರೀ ಶಂಕರ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಸುರೇಶ್ವರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ನಮೋ ಗುರುಭ್ಯ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞಾಂಶು ಪ್ರಧಾನೈ ಸ್ಥಿರಜರಣಿಗರ ವ್ಯಾಪಿಭಿರ್ವ್ಯಾಪ್ಯ ಲೋಕಾನ್ ಭುಕ್ತ ಭೋಗಾನ್ ಸ್ಥವಿಷ್ಠಾನ್ ಪುನರ್ವಿಧಿಷಣೋದ್ಭಾಸಿತಾನ್ ಕಾಮಜನ್ಯಾನ್ ಪೀತ್ವಾ ಸರ್ವಾನ್ ವಿಶೇಷಾನ್ ಸ್ವಪತಿ ಮಧುರ ಭಂಗಮಾಯಾ ಭೋಜಯನ್ ನಃ ಮಾಯಾ ಸಂಖ್ಯಾ ತುರೀಯ ಪರಮೃತಮಯಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಉಪಾಸನಾಶ್ರಿತೋ ಧರ್ಮ ಜಾತೆ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣಿ ವರ್ತತೆ ಪ್ರಾಗುತ್ತೇರಜಂಸೋ ಕೃಪಣಸ್ಮೃತ ಅಥೋ ವಕ್ಷ್ಯ ಕಾರ್ಪಣ್ಯಂ ಅಜಾತಿ ಸಮತಾಂ ಗತಂ ಯಥಾನ ಜಾಯತೆ ಕಿಂಚಿದೇ ಜಾಯಮಾನ ಸಮಂತ ಆತ್ಮ ಹಿ ಆಕಾಶವಜ್ಜೀವೈ ಕಟಾಕಾಶೈರಿ ಓದಿ ಕಟಾಧಿವಚ್ಚ ಸಂಗಾತೈ ಜಾತೇತನ್ನಿದರ್ಶನ ಸೊ ಟುಡೇ ಇಶ್ ಶಂಕರ ಜಯಂತಿ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಬೀನ್ a key link in the sampradaya this sampradaya started with bhagavan himself sada shiva samarambha shankaracharya madhyamam so he is a link shankaracharya is the central link because it is a bhashya which connects us to that lineage this parampara narayanam padma bhuvam vasishtam shaktincha tatvatra parasharancha vyasam shukam gaudapadam mahantam govinda yogindram atasya shishyam shri shankaracharya matasya padma vadam cha hastamalakam shishyam tam totakam vartika garam anyanasmat gurun santatam anatasmi this whole parampara this whole sampradaya vedanta sampradaya the, the key connection is bhagavad pada acharya but for him it would have been almost impossible to connect and understand the import of shastra that's why both vyasa acharya and bhagavad pada acharya are given an exalted status in the sampradaya and for people who are in the sampavedanta sampradaya every day is shankara jayanti only 
my guru used to say that that for me every day shankara jayanti is what he used to say because the whole life becomes one of commitment to the shastra and the drishti of shastra and that is not possible without doing the shravana manana nidhyasana of acharya bhashyam so this bhashyam prasthanatre bhashyam it has enlightened thousands and thousands of people over hundreds of years so this contribution is is enormous because it has liberated people for ages across this nation and it will continue to do that there have been so many other people who have written vedantic texts books after him probably even before him but there is nothing which is even remotely close to the works of acharya bhashya ratna prabha is one of the vrittis written on his sutra bhashya it's a ratna prabha and it's a it's the brilliance of the bhashya which is brought out is what he says so shankara kinkara so everybody is a kinkara of shan kim kim na karoti shankara jaryartham what what all one will not do will do for the sake of acharya that per kind of person is called kinkara so fortunately today it, uh, there is a, usually it has not been on sundays so this time the jayanti is falling on a sunday so i thought we will spend like few minutes recollecting the contributions of bhagavad pada acharya purely from a shastra drishtya i mean there are other things that we talk about you know establishments of matha shanmata sthapana stotra and you know rejuvenating temples everything you go to any part in the country any part okay you can go to from all the way from uttarakhand to nepal to even like katasraj in pakistan or any state in india there will be some story of this is what shankaracharya did here this yantra sthapana was done by shankaracharya this badrinarayana was brought out by shankaracharya or kashi vishwanatha was established by shankaracharya here narmada this is where he took the water into his kamandalu this is where he met govinda bhagavad padacharya or something like that this is where in tirupati he established dhana akarshana yantra or yeah or then if he goes south they'll say this is where in nakilandeshwari shrine he did the tadanga pradishta or if you go to tirchandur they'll say this is where shankaracharya you know wrote subramanya bhujanga go to kerala and there are amtin right mukambika they'll say this is where shankaracharya came and did the nans any there mallika arjuna i go i say this is where he did shivanandal or uh, yeah so and dwadasha jyotirlinga is anyway there all over the country so there is nothing which in india which uh, is away from him and any shloka you take nine out of 10 shlokas will be attributed to shankara jaya whether it is on ganesha or it is on narsimha or it is on meenakshi so it is like whatever we see today has the sanatana tradition the imprint 
of uh, Acharya is can be seen everywhere. Therefore, it is very appropriate that we celebrate this Jayanti in a very elaborate fashion in the country. All Sanatanis should do that. Now let's come to Shastra. <clears throat> Atma hi akashavat jivai hi gata kashai riva uditaha. Gata di vacha sangatai hi jato yetan nidarshanam. The Advaita Prakarana is establishing Tarkena that. All that is here is Advayam Brahma. Akarpanyam ajati samatam gatam na jayate kinchite jayamanam samantataha. We saw in the previous shloka. Jayamanam jayamanatvat jayamanatvena what is obtained as jayamanam, what is seen, recognized as being endowed with the quality of being born. Jayamanatvena pratiyamanam, you can say. What is perceived as being born as this jagat, na jayate, is not born. So, this whole birth or even bondage or liberation, all of them are mithya only. There is no real birth. Because to be born, what is a birth? For example, there is nothing which is born in the jagat. There is only a parinama. Everything only undergoes change. Even whatever we say is a birth. What is birth? Suppose I say this cloth is born. Is it really born? This cloth, you can say, it was born on a particular date. But then it was already there in the form of cotton. Yarn, right? Thread. But cotton was already there in the form of a flower or a fruit, whatever, in a plant. And that fruit or a flower or whatever was there as some energy and minerals in the earth, which made the seed grow into a flower and the flower again gave birth to this cotton. Now, whatever is there in this mud, sand as mineral was probably earlier there, there as a human body. We don't know. Now, it is all only parinama. Things are only changing. There is nothing born. Even a human birth, it's the same. Whatever, what is this body? 99% of this body came from the food we ate. The food transformed itself into my hands and legs and all that. But the food, in order for it to transform into the flesh and blood and bone, it had to enter this particular human body. If it had entered, the same food entered into a lion body, it would have become something else. The same food entering into a crow's body, it becomes something else. But irrespective, it is only the food which has transformed into this body. That food again came from plants. That plant came from minerals, chlorophyll, whatever. Now, any birth is only a parinama of something else. That's why in science we say entropy is a constant. It doesn't go up or down. It's only the same things which get recycled. 
any birth is only a recycling of something else at least from some energy some matter becomes matter becomes energy irrespective can in a intangible energy can become a tangible material that is okay but a tangible can again evaporate into an intangible come back into tangible right but the birth is possible only when there are attributes that means the avayava when they undergo change this what is called as birth that is why bhashyagara says yadi savayavam vastu tad avayava vaishamyam gachate jayate iti uchyate avayava vaishamyam the the modification of the parts avayava includes attributes also so the parts of the body when they undergo change when the fetus is in the womb of the mother you can see how the avayava undergoes vaishamyam in a 3 month scan 6 month scan 9 month scan you can see the difference how that it has become a baby from there anyway once it is born into the world it is again undergoing avayava vaishamyam and then we are formed like this same thing with any animal or bird or a plant or a tree or even something coming out of lava into a mountain all of them are said to be born because there is a avayava vaishamyam what was there in some other form has become something else a pot is born from clay so it is only avayava vaishamya only whereas idam tu niravayavatvat samatam gatam iti na kaischi davayavaihi sputati this brahman there is no avayava it's niravayavam vastu because it is shuddha chaitanya swarupa it's shuddha nirvikalpa nirakara chaitanya the only awareness everything else is superimposed on it it is only pure existence pure consciousness chinmatram therefore there is no avayava it doesn't have any parts it doesn't have any attributes being without avayava there is no question of it transforming to something else so there is no question of any birth ajatihi it is unborn it's never born but it is always fresh sadyo jataha because it is never old time it's it is beyond time beyond time means means what aparichinnam desha kala vastu aparichinna ataha ajati akarpanyam samantataha samantat yatana jayate kinchit alpam api nasputati rajju sarpavat avidyagrita drishtya jayamanam it is only because of the avidyakrita drishti the drishti which is caused due to the avidya not avidya drishti avidya krita drishtya jayamanam it is born it is as though born that is why jayamanam samantataha na jayate as though it is seen as though it is born jayamanatvena upalabhyamanam api sanne न जायते रज्जुसर्पवत अविद्यादृष्टिया जायम एस दो दिनेक इज बॉर्न ऑन द रोप फ्रॉम द रोप बट दर इज नो रियल बर्थ वेन यू अंडरस्टैंड दट दर इज ओनली रोप द स्ने वॉज नेवर बॉर्न विल नेवर बी बॉर्न ऑन द रोप it is only because the avidya akrita drishti that you are seeing a snake so where is the moment you recognize that brahma vastu which is 
the eastness alone there is nothing else that you can see that there is recognize that there is nothing else other than the eastness everything else just evaporates as it was never there the snake on the rope just fades away sarju sarpavat avidyagata drishtya jayamanam yena prakarena na jayate sarvataha ajameva brahma bhavati tata tam prakaram shrunu karpanya that he called it as karpanyam then atmahi akashavat jeevaihi ghataakashaihi va uditah ghatadivacha sangataihi jatau etan nidarshanam ajati brahma karpanyam vakshyami iti pratijnatam brahma akarpanyam ajati brahma akarpanyam vakshyami iti pratijnatam The Akarpanyam Brahma, that means the infinite Brahma. The Kripana means limited. Karpanyam means the one which is unlimited. There is nothing which is left out of Brahma. That Brahman, that Brahma which is Akarpanyam, Ajati, that which is not subject to birth or death or modification, That Ajati Brahma, Akarpanyam Brahma, Aham Vakshyami, Iti Pratijnata. The Pratijna is made that I will show you the Brahman which is Ajati Akarpanyam Brahma. Tat Siddhyartam Hetum Dhrishtantam Cha Vakshyami. So in order for you to clinch it, Siddhyartam. Shastram, the Shastra is telling, okay. All that is here is Akarpanyam Brahma Ajati. But just because it tells, I don't understand. So for me to understand, it has to find a method to show. Brahmam Satyam Jagan Mitya, suppose you say. Do we understand anything? I don't understand what is Brahman. What is Mitya? So, it is a problem. Then it has to reveal it. Therefore, here, Tad Siddhi Artham, in order for me to clinch, it, clinch that knowledge. How can it show it? Not by directly by some words. Brahma, if it tells, I don't understand. Turiyam, it says, I won't understand. Sat, it says, I won't. Because using some words doesn't make me understand it. So, Hetum Drishtantam Cha Vakshyami. So, what Shastra is now trying to do is, here, Hetu and Drishtanta, this is more Gravdapadacharya, trying to show some Hetu and Drishtanta. In fact, Hetu and Drishtanta are together in this Kalpana. Therefore, it is Hetu Garbita Drishtanta. The Drishtanta itself, in it Garbha, inside it has the Hetu. Sukshmatva, Niravayavatva, Sarvagatatva, like that. That Tvat is Hetu. Just like Akasha, Atma is Sarvagatam. And Sarvagatatva, Atma is Ajati. That is the Hetu. And how is it Sarvagatam Drishtandena? Just like space. Because space is Sukshma. Similarly, Atma is also Sukshma. So that's the Drishtanta. So Hetum Drishtantam Cha Vakshyam. The Hetu for this reason, logic. Hetu Drishtanta is what we said is Nyaya, right? The example and due to this, the causality, right? For this reason, reasoning is Hetu. With this reasoning, may you recognize that this is what is Atma. Okay. So that is what that is that is a methodology. Hetum Drishtantam Cha Vakshyami. That is the shloka. Atma hi akashavati. 
this atma is like akasha and what then what about all this jiva so atma you are saying is like akasha akasha is sarva vyapi it is everywhere it is sukshma atma paraha hi asmat akashavat sukshma it is subtle it is subtle because like i spoke in the last class atma is there everywhere but is hidden it is not you know manifest as a object it is as though it is unmanifest but in every object cognition it is there in fact it is what is the easiness of the cognition itself it is what is the enlightenment spura spuranam tatta spurti are both the same vastu if that is the case it still not available for me for a cognition therefore it is sukshma like space space is everywhere but can you touch the space no can you see the space no can you smell the space no can you taste the space no so what is the space it is sukshma because it is there accommodating everything avakasha pradatra akasham that which accommodates everything which is here is akasha all that is here is accommodated by what is called akasha but then that akasha which accommodates everything is itself not accommodated in my perception i don't perceive the space so it is only inferred so it sukshma similarly all that is here is accommodated only by atma vastu without atma where is anything without atma illuminating where is the world experience without the atma where is the easiness when i say something is it is the easiness is where in the atma only are and the easiness is atma in fact therefore it is sukshma ha though it is what is there it is the only thing which is there because it is the easiness easiness alone is there there is no non is everything else nama roopa only only the easiness is the satyam but it is not tangibly seen therefore it is sukshma just like akasha akasha only and it is niravayavah like akasha it has no avayava it has space have any attribute any parts this is the east side of space this is the south side of space this is the leg of space this is the head of space can we say space is lying horizontally space is standing vertically can we say space starts here ends here can we say so here there is space next to space is water can we say when water is there water is also in space only so the space is not limitable delineate delineatable there is no avayava it is not even describable through parts same holds for brahma atma it has no avayava it has no parts you can't say this is where atma is this is where atma starts this is where atma ends this is red colored atma this is black colored atma this is head of atma this is leg of atma this is hand of atma you can't say atma is very tasty atma smells very good it is fragrant atma looks very beautiful my atma is white in color or it is dark in color whatever atma is running fast you can't say all that about atma there is nothing there is no avayava there is no guna but everything is that atma only then space is sarva gataha everywhere there is space it accommodates everything 
the whole world experience is in space only whether it is sun or moon or stars everything is in space because there is nowhere anything can be found where there is no space you can't land at any object and not see space there similarly you can't land on any object without it being pervaded by atma swarupa any object you say is the isness has already come and that isness is atma only in fact it is the atma which obtains even in space the space also we have to say is and that space also is pervaded by the atma and anyway space pervades everything so long as atma has pervaded the space everything else is automatically pervaded by atma therefore atma sarvagataha so here both are covered what hetu also drishtanta also hetu is what is the hetu for ajati correct so the hetu is to establish aja establish ajati brahma akarpanyam brahma that for that only this hetu is so ajati matvam is establishable by what niravayavatvam correct because only an avayava vaishamya is jata is jananam the birth is i say birth okay the birth is due to the avayava modification avayava vaishamyena eva jat jananam we have seen so for an avayava vaishamya to take place there should be avayava the first place but here it is niravayavam so niravayavatva tajati and niravayavatva hetu is where from the drishtanta akashavatva akasha being sukshma is obviously niravayava is akasha being sarvagata is obviously niravayava similarly brahman also being sukshma sarvagata it is also niravayavam therefore it is akashavatva therefore it is ajati brahma akarpanyam brahma it doesn't leave out everything anything jeevaihi kshetragnehi gatakashaihi va gatakasha tulya hatulyaihi uditaha therefore in the form of this jeevaihi is third case ramena ramabhyam ramaihi similarly jeevaihi in the form ittam bhute tritiya we call in sanskrit in the form of ramen samaha lakshmanah like that ar ramen ah ramah ah what can we say ra ramah karunyena vartate suppose i say so rama is in the form of karuna in that form in the form of jiva jeevaihi kshetragnehi gatakashaihi va gatakashatulyaihi uttaha sayeva akasha samaha paratma it is the same atma which is in the form of jiva or kshetragnya jiva like a gatakasha this is the drishtanta what how is this jiva then there if the brahman is akashavat sarvagatah sukshmah then where is this jiva how is this jiva existing this is the question so shastra says it is like how a pot is in the space and there is a pot space gatakashaihi 
Suppose, let me take what is here. This bag is there. This is a uh, whatever hot pack or this contains water. Generally, okay. Now there is no water. So what is there in it? It has space in it. Okay, space. Now this space which is inside this, is it separate from the overall space? It is a small space, right? Suppose there is a in a part there is space, or in this there is space. Okay, let's take a part space. In my hand there is space. Okay. Simple. Let's not take that bag. Let's take this hand. Inside this, there is some space. Is this space separate from all the space? The problem here is this hand itself is in space. So there is only one space. And within which that hand is there, which is also accommodated in the space. But we see as though there is a space inside the hand like inside the pot. That is called Gatavachinna Akasha. The Akasha which is qualified by the pot which is enclosing it as though. Similarly, this Avidya Upadi, the Ajnana Upadina, this Brahma is qualified. The Avidya Upadi Avachinna Chaitanyatma is what is Jivatma. And due to this Avidya, this Jiva takes oneself to be this body, mind, senses. This Avidya creates a situation where this Jivatma identifies itself with this body, mind and senses. Okay. Deha Indriya Sangata Avachinnatvam This Deha Adi Sangatam is where the Buddhi identifies as oneself due to the Avidya Upadi. So clearly you have to understand. When we say Deha the Avachinna Atma means the identification with the Deha, Indriya and all that due to Avidya. So the Upadi is not Deha. The Upadi is Avidya only. Because if you say the Deha is Upadi, then this Deha Nasha has to take place for you to become one with Mahakasha. Right? But that is not the case. Only by ignorance you are identifying like this Gatakasha. You don't need to break the Gataka Gata for the Gatakasha to become one with Mahakasha. Just understand this. The Gata even now exists only in Akasha. So the Gatakasha is Mahakasha. Gata also is Mahakasha only. Therefore, the Avidya only Upadi, Avidya Nasha only is needed. So, the Avidya creates identification of the Atma with the body, mind, and senses. Kshetra Gnehi Gata Kashehi Iva Gata Kashya Tulyehi Uditaha Uptaha. It is told, Saha Yeva Akasha Samaha Paratma. That Paratma is like an Akasha only. So that is the Drishtanta and also the Hetu. So it is a Hetu Garbita Drishtanta. Atava. Now, if I say Uditaha is Uptaha, the birth is not spoken. Therefore, Bhashyagara uses another meaning. That's why I said there is a little bit Aruchi in this because it doesn't talk about birth. If you take the meaning Udita, like Udaya, Suryodaya, we say, right? Udaya Surya. 
that uditaha also means the one which is born so he takes that meaning athava katakashaihi yatha akashaha uditaha utpannaha just as though the space is born into a part space the overall space is born into a part space tatha paraha jeevatma bihi utpanna like that only the jeevatma is born from the paramatma so is god part space really born no it is only has to born from the gato upadi drishtya we are saying there is a gatakasha that's all only from upadi drishtya by wearing sunglasses the whole place looks dark that's all the place has in become dark in tamil we say no poonai kannai mudikondal bhoolagam irundiduma like that your own hands are in between the world and the eyes that's all similarly this gatavachinnatvam is what is making you see a special space called pot space but there is no pot space there is only space but it obtains for you to identify okay how do you know that there is space the space can be known only by enclosing it so there is an upalabdhi of space in the pot because pot is enclosing the space you are seeing space obtaining in the pot similarly the jeevatma since the atma obtains in your buddhi upalabdhi sthanam is in the buddhi okay so to that extent it is beneficial to have a pot because then only you can even visualize oh there is a speciality in order for you to even recognize that there is a speciality you need something to enclose it similarly this jeevatmatvam is needed for you to recognize paratma that is why jantu naam nara janma durlabham you need this birth you need this upadhi you need this buddhi upadhi for you to recognize therefore jeevatma and manushya janma more than jeevatmatvam manushya janma is considered as essential because the upalabdhi is there and your ability to recognize the upalabdha brahman is there in the buddhi therefore athava gatakashaihi yatha akashaha utpannaha the gatakasha is born so when before this part came there was no gatakasha now two days back this part came then this new akasha which is called gatakasha was born on 10th may 2024 this akasha gatakasha was born we called it as 2024 gatakasha number 3 okay that's the name so that's like the human birth this jeevatma is born on this particular day we say because of what upaditvam this identification with this particular bind body sense is what is this birth yatha gatakashaihi yatha akashaha uditaha utpannaha tatha paraha jeevatma bihi utpannaha age nittam bhute jeevatma rupena utpannaha yatha gatakasha rupena akashaha utpannaha tatha eva jeevatma rupena paraatma utpannaha that is the birth so there is no real birth because there is only one akasha it was never born into a gatakasha it was always there akasha was always there you brought a gata there and say there is a gatakasha which has come similarly this avidya 
about atma vastu identification with the jeevatvam is the cause there is no real birth jeevatmanam parasmat atmanah utpatti ya shruyate vedanteshu sa mahakashat ghatakasho utpatti sama na paramarthatah iti abhipraya same thing bashigara himself states jeevatmanam paramat parasmat atmanah utpatti ya shruyate vedanteshu so in vedanta whatever birth is spoken about that jeevatma agnir vispulingavate then brahmano asya mukham asit there are many places where it is spoken about jeevatma birth that birth in shastra what is spoken about is mahakashat ghatakasho utpatti sama is just like how ghatakasha is born from mahakasha only na paramarthatah iti abhipraya na paramarthatah utpatti there is no real birth creation so ajati 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 there is no birth there is birth birth means avayava vaishamya ais vaishamya has to be there vaishamyatva apeksha should be there but there is no vaishamyam there is no avayava itself तस्मादेव आकाशात् घटादयः संगाताः यथा उत्पद्यन्ते एवं आकाशस्थानीयात् परमात्मनः पृथिव्यादिभूत संगाताः आध्यात्मिकाश्च कार्यकरण लक्षणा रज्जुसर्पवत् विकल्पिताः जायन्ते तस्मादेव देयरफॉर ಆಕಾಶಾತ್ ಘಟಾದಯ ಸಂಗಾತಃ ಯಥಾತ್ಪದ್ಯಂತೆ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಹೌ ದಿಸ್ ಆಕಾಶಾತ್ ಘಟಾದಯ ಸಂಗಾತ ನೌ ಹೀಸ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ಘಟಾದಿ ಸಂಗಾತ ದಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಏ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಫೈನ್ ಸರ್ ಬಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ನೋ ವೈ ಆರ್ ಯು ಮಿಸ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ you can say all paratma all fine but this body was not there right before 50 48 whatever years this body was not there so it is born this sangatam dehadi sangatam is born so atma may not be born that's fine but this body is born no so like mahakasha you can say is all sarva vyapi one mahakasha but because the part is born no this space has got separated from that space isn't it that can be a question so bashyagara now comes to gata that gata also is born from akasha only shastra is also saying that in our model tasmadva etasmad atmana akasha sambhutah akasha dvayuh in taitri upanishad vayo ragnih agnerapah adya prithvi prithuvya gatah oshadeha it says but prithuvya gatah the part is from prithvi prithvi came from adhyaha from water and apaha water came from where agne rapaha from agni and agni came from vayo ragni and where did vayu come from akasha dvayu and where did akasha come from atmana akasha sambhutah so from brahma because it said atma vai brahma satyam jnanam anantam brahma tasmad va etasmad atmanah from that prakrita brahma which is atma this akasha is born is what is said prakritam so brahma eva atma the brahman is atma only there is no other brahman because there was one dasaratha from that kumbhakarna 
this person was born if you say does it make sense your prakritam is there was one dasaratha then what should you say from that dasaratha rama was born you can say but if you say there was one dasaratha from that kumbhakarna somebody was born if you say either you are making an illogical statement or that dasaratha is also called as this kumbhakarna then there is a reasoning like that brahma satyam jnanam anantam brahma then it says yo vedanihitam gol that then tasmad va etasmad atmanah aakashas sambhutah from that atma which is brahman which is brahman is not told but it means the same that from that brahman which is this atma aakasha is born from aakasha air is born and from air fire is born from fire water is born from water bhumi prithvi is born and that prithvi is what has become this part along with water and fire everything together and space is also there so this upadi sangata gata also is akasha only akashat gata deya sangata ha yata upadyante just like the parts are born from the same space evam akasha sthani yati just like and sthaniya means what drishtanta dashtantika connection they say like in bhagavad gita sarvada sampradodaka sthaniya is what is said as paratma because that in that second chapter bhagavan says sarvada sampradodaka that yata kupas that where that water which is there in the kupa tatagadi for a gnani it is when every everywhere it is flooded with water what is the use of this there is one verse which is there in that kupa that sarvada sampradodaka sthaniyam is parama paratma brahma is how acharya refers similarly it's a it's a usage it's a way to expression way of expression so here akashasthaniyat paramatmanah paramatma is like the akasha in the case of example same in the exemplified case it is the paratma evam akashasthaniyat paramatmanah prithivyaadi bhuta sangataah adhyatmikascha उत्पन्नाः कल्पिताः जायन्ते पृथिव्यादि भूतम सो फ्रॉम दिस आत्मा ओनली पृथिवी अप तेजः वायु अग्नि ऑल ऑफ दिस इज बॉर्न पृथिव्यादि भूत संगाताः द भूतास पंचभूतास आर बॉर्न फ्रॉम वेयर परात्मा आध्यात्मिकाश्च कार्य करण लक्षण ईवन दिसक्सटर्नल फै एलिमेंट अंड वाट इज देर इन दिस बाडी वाट इज देर एस मैंड वाट इज देर एस प्राण आल दीज आर् बॉर्न फ्रम द सेम परात्मा कार्य करण लक्षण दी आबजेक्ट्स आफ आशन द इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स आफ आशन all of these are born from the same brahman rajju sarpavat vikalpita jayante like the snake is born on the rope why is he again and again saying like the snake is born on the rope he could have said like the pot is born from the clay but there there is a parinamitvam see the all said and then clay has to undergo some change to become a pot at least the shape has to change the avayava is there in the clay in order for it to actually change its shape even that he doesn't want to keep there is niravayam therefore there is no parinami karanam there is only vivartha karanam there is only as though srishti at least clay has me undergone some change to become a pot whereas the rope doesn't undergo any change 
for it to appear as snake. It is all that is needed for you to see a snake. There is ignorance of rope. That's all. The ignorance of the rope is the only reason. That's why Avarana Vikshepa, the Avidya has two effects. One is Avaranam, another is Vikshepa. It covers the nature of the thing which is there. And it also projects a different thing, which is the snakeness. Similarly, all that is here in Brahman, the Avidya creates a Jagat. How do you say it is creates? I am seeing a world. There is a cloth. Is there not a cloth? Is there? How can you say it is all Maya? When you analyze, see through Shastra Drishti, in front of your eyes, the cloth evaporates into easiness. Even now in a rope, it appears as though there is a snake. That is what is called Mithya, Maya. There is an as though snake appearance. Similarly, there is a Jagat appearance. But there is no Vastu. When you see it, there is no really there is any snake. Even after understanding it's a rope, it might have the look of a snake. But you know it is not a snake, but it is a rope. That is Jnanam. Raju Sarpavati Vikalpitaha Jayante Ataha Uchade Gatadivacha Sangataihi Uditaha Iti It is born in the form of Sangataihi Sangata Rupena. Gatadivate Sankata Rupena as though in the form of this Gata Gata Sangatam Akasham. Similarly, this Dehadi Sangata Atma Jivatma Rupena Buddhitaha Yada Manda Buddhi Pradipipa the Isha Sutya Atmanaha Jati Huchade Jivadi Nam Tada Jato Pagamyamana Yam Yadat Midarshanam Drishtantaha Yata Udita Akasha Vati Yadi Yadi He says Mandabuddhi Pratipipa the Ishaya Pratipadanam Pratipipa the Ishanam In the wanting to the wishing to show reveal Vipada Isha. Pratipadi to Micha. The want, the desire to reveal. Reveal what? The Brahman. To whom? Manda Buddhi. People who are not in a position to easily understand it. That is all of us. Okay. There is no one Manda Buddhi. For everybody only. Because it's a prakriya. Not many. There will be one in millions who will understand everything is Brahman, immediately they will understand, right? I don't think there will be a lot of people with just saying it's all Brahman, they will understand. So, everybody is Manda Buddhi only. So, people in order for them to comprehend, that's what it means. Okay? Therefore, for you to comprehend purposes only, Jati Hi Ucchyate Jeevadinam, the birth is spoken about by Shastram. Shrutya. Shruti uses the Srishti Prakriya only for revealing what is the Ajadi Brahma. The unborn Brahman has to be shown to you in order for you to recognize it starts here. Tada Jatav Upagamya Manayam Yetat Nidarshanam Drishtantaha Yatodita Akashavati Ityadhi Therefore, it is clearly shown Vidarshanam Jatav Upagamyamanayam in the born things Drishtantaha Yata Udita Akashavati. Like in the case of space, the pot space being born is how this whole birth of Jagat and Jivatma and all that. There is no birth at all. Gata Dishupraneshu. Kata kasha da yo yatha akashe samprali yante tadvaji vaihatmani. When the pot is broken, 
the pod space automatically is seen as the total space. Similarly, when the ignorance is gone, Jivatma is seen as Paratma. Is what is the next verse? We will see in the next class. Om Pur Namada Pur Namidam Pur Nath Pur Namada Chade Pur Nasya Pur Namada Yabur Nameva Vasishade Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Hari Om Danyavada Guruji.